guys, so I'm throwing together my dinner for tonight. I'm doing an Italian crock pot and chicken. So I have uh, two small chicken breasts in here and they're, they're pretty thick. I did thin them out a little bit. And then some fingerling potatoes. I have the golden potatoes and some purple potatoes. So I just cut those lengthwise and put those in there. This will be enough for three meals. So I will have this for leftovers over the next few days because I don't do any like new meals, usually Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I just do leftovers. So let me show you what else goes in here. In here, I'm gonna whisk together a half of a cup of chicken broth. We're gonna do a third of a cup of fat-free half and half. We are gonna do some cornstarch, which I still need to get out. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of pesto, um, some minced garlic. I never measure my minced garlic. And then I have some chopped spinach and some roasted bell pepper. And this is what I use for the bell pepper. And I just chopped that up. So we're gonna put all of that in here, mix it together, and then we'll pour it on top of the um, potatoes and chicken. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. So I have everything else in here and I'm just gonna stir these in. Let's pour this mixture on top here. And I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. We are gonna cook this on high for six hours. I'll check it to make sure everything's done, but like I said, the chicken breasts aren't very big. Um, so and there's only two of them in there. So I think six hours would be enough, but you can also do it on high for three to four hours or on low six to seven. And actually I'm doing it medium. I have like a medium on my crock pot. So I'm doing it on medium for six hours. So we'll check it and see what it looks like, but does not look amazing. You should smell it. The pesto smells so, so good lunch I have some chicken pasta salad I will tell I'll jump on the camera here in a second and tell you um, everything that's in it uh, but this will be my lunch for the day I'll pop up the calories and the points for this hey guys happy Wednesday middle of the week yay just one and a half more days to go for a three-day weekend um, I am going to work from home the rest of the day. I have had this ear piercing, no, not ear piercing, eye piercing headache. It's just like stabbing me in the eyeball like all day. And I woke up with kind of a scratchy throat. It's still a little scratchy. And then my, I just so congested. So I'm 99% sure that it's my allergies. Although they just put an email out, um, to all staff that cases in our County are considered high. So we're considered high right now in the state. So to, they said to stay home if you're not feeling well. And I just thought, well, since I just got back, you know, from being out of town, um, even though I was mostly just around my family, but you know, it's around people I'm not around and you know, and whatnot, I just figured better safe than sorry, just to stay home. I mean, I'm not feeling bad besides that. So I'm pretty sure that it's my allergies because I did do the lawn and stuff on Monday. So it could just be that, but mainly it's just the headache. And I think being at home will be better. Um, because at the office, you know, it's just kind of loud and all the fluorescent lights and stuff right above my head. I just think that I just need to stay home for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, so eating lunch. Um, uh, oh, I showed it to you. So what's in my pasta salad? Um, it's so good, by the way. So I have a bed of lettuce that I put it on. Um, I'll pop up some clips here. I'm pretty sure I took some clips. Yes, I did. So I did a whole can. I mean, this is like, I did three servings is what I did. Um, so I did a whole can of the Kirkland chicken breast. So like the big cans of the chicken breast from Costco. I did some red onion, green onion. I did, um, three hard boiled eggs. Um, I mixed, I did a mixture of mayo and, um, Greek yogurt. So I ended up using three tablespoons of mayo. So a tablespoon for each serving is kind of what I figured. And then I just kind of put in the Greek yogurt just until it made it creamy and salt. I did the, um, what is that called? Kinder's seasoning, the salt, pepper, garlic, which I love that seasoning. I think I got it at grocery outlet. I would love to find a bigger one of those because I love that seasoning. So I have that. And then, um, Oh, pasta, the pasta. So I used the protein, the Barilla protein plus pasta, and I did a six ounces. So I weighed out six ounces dry and then cooked that up and added that all in there. That way I knew I had three servings worth of the pasta in here. Now, of course it's not measured out perfectly, but um, we'll see what it is. Then this time I added on some avocado on top. So, so ready to dig into this. And then you saw my dinner tonight. It's gonna be that Italian crock pot. Um, and potatoes 
I think it's called Italian chicken and potatoes crock pot meal or something like that. Um, I pretty much did not change the recipe at all. Um, I will link it down below. Um, it calls for heavy cream and I just substitute half and half for it. Um, so you could also do like almond milk or you could do heavy cream or milk, whatever you want to do um, for that. Um, I had half and half in my refrigerator, so I used that. Actually, I'm glad I had that in there because I didn't even really look at the recipe. Um, it's been, I've had it pinned for a while, so I didn't even really look at it. I just kind of glanced at the picture of it and then just kind of glanced at the ingredients to see what I needed to get and I completely overlooked the heavy cream. But luckily I had some fat-free half and half in my refrigerator, so I went and just used that. So it worked out fabulous. Also have some water here. Um, I did not eat my yogurt this morning, so I'll probably have that for an afternoon snack um, if I'm hungry. But I did eat my popcorn. I had my um, my protein coffee, and I did not eat my um, protein bar either. So I um, haven't had a lot of protein today, um, but I just haven't been feeling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and get to work, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's 5.45, just got done with my 30 minute bike ride. I did 30 minutes of walking this morning, so activity, yay, all done. My headache is completely gone. I really think that the headache came from the fluorescent lights at work. I feel like towards the end of the day, I've been getting really bad headaches, and I think it's because I am in this whole, like under this whole row of lights, where before I was just in a little office and just had like one light above me, and now I have like three of them above me. So I don't know. I just feel like that could be what it is because my throat's fine and my and ever since I took my allergy pill, my congestion is pretty much completely gone and my headache pretty much went away as soon as all that went away and then I'm just in my bedroom working. So I don't know. Oh, sorry. So I don't know what it is. We'll just have to kind of take it by... Take about your the rest of the month and just see, you know, because it'll be like a full month that I've been in this area here in a few weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Um, dinner is smelling amazing. So I'm going to have that with some salad here in a little bit. And on that, I'm just kind of sitting around going through Pinterest, kind of looking at my grocery apps to kind of get some idea of some stuff I want to pick up this week and hopefully get that done fairly soon. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have to share right now. I will show you dinner when it is all ready. We are going to give this dinner a little try. I just probably wonder, like, why do I come into my bedroom to do these things? It's because my little dog, my chihuahua, likes to bark when um, my stepson's um, girlfriend comes into the <laughs> into the room. And so I don't want there to be a bunch of barking and stuff. Okay, let's give this a little try. So tender. Mmm, that pesto, even though we only put a teaspoon in, it is so flavorful. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is such a good recipe. This is the first time I've tried this recipe. So good. I will have it linked down below. Like I said, the only thing I changed in it was the heavy cream, which I don't even know like what that does to it besides maybe just adds the moisture to it. So I think substituting anything, it'd be fine. I, I think you could probably even leave it out. I don't know, maybe if you used heavy cream, it'd be a creamier, but definitely doesn't need it. Definitely not lacking anything. This is really good. Highly, highly recommend this recipe. Um, If I have anything else, like an ice cream or anything, I don't know if I will, I don't know if I feel like it. Um, But if I do, I will pop it up here. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.